Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. March 12, daily energy, daily vibes. And many, many of you have been asking about the daily messages, daily readings. Sometimes I do this reading, sometimes I don't. It's not because, you know, feel somehow should I do it or should I not. Sometimes there's a lot of things pile up and just basically I can't. Sometimes the energy wise, I am not, you know, able to come forward. So whatever daily energies I can do, know those days, not because I mark the day in the description or in the title, but the day you see the message, that's the day you gotta hear those things. And also, again, for those of you who are really curious, the timelines are just for reference, not necessary for the specific day you're seeing it, okay? And because many, many of you been writing, you know, comments even two or three years back to certain readings. And that's kind of lately happens. And I want to say this way. If three years ago, or you come around a reading, no matter it's this channel or other channel, if something here triggers you to that energy, listen it or there is a specific message there for you as well in this daily messages because usually i will call for whoever needs to hear this message as of today because sometimes whatever i am bringing to the to the table or into the day message might not be necessary yours okay but might be some kind of little lion that might be there for you for reason so for that reason take what resonates and leave what doesn't as always as always my speak towards you or towards someone very close to you okay loves let's see as well for those of you who are embrace this new moon in pisces now this is the um, the last new moon in the series of a year because astrologically the new year did not start okay loves as you know astrologically the year starts with aries and ends with pisces so if certain things here feels like why this year doesn't yet start or why things are like this and that know that because the, the new moon in Aries, we are going to have on April this year, okay? So it seems here that some years are starting later, some earlier. But let's see, loves, what do we have as of today? We have the star. Sometimes when we see the star, it's kind of like, yeah, there is a wish fulfilled. But what I'm seeing in today in this card is someone here is praying, but doesn't pray just nighttime, doesn't pray just when they wake up. It's like praying constantly for whatever reason. It's like I see someone constantly doing or saying certain words you know these words could be i'm feeling better for some of you you are practice affirmations for others of you you would try to raise your vibration and for that reason you got to practice this affirmation of to lift you up and somebody here definitely is praying for someone who is not feeling well or if you are not feeling well you're praying to get better so let's see, Ace of Swords, what I'm saying is just the truth. Every time when I see this Ace of Swords, it's like truth is there. For some of you, yes, whatever here you're praying, keep praying, 
because will come to light whatever here you're praying of course if you pray for something with a noble cause if you're praying for someone to do bad or things like that don't do it because the mirror effect might may come to you so always always when you wish wish the best absolutely three of cups king of cups six of pentacles and the sun this really speaks here as i said it's it's praying day and night here look at this the star and the sun star speaks about the night and the sun speaks about the day so whoever here prays day and night know that things are changing for others of you if there is if you've been in in the dark or feel in the dark you're coming to the light okay darlings you definitely are coming to the light for some of you is praying for a better job or a better income Again, whatever here you're praying, keep praying, okay? Let's see. Let's see what is more. Two of Swords. It's kind of like whoever here is praying is like you. You will practice till you are going to see. Because as far as I see now, you don't see ahead. So some somebody here, it's still in the situation that I don't know if this is gonna come but I will say just for for me to see what happens strength finding your own strength find your true power seven of cups as I said somebody here doesn't know how strong is or what all of this is going world Four of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and Knight of Pentacles. So we do have the King and the Queen, and we have the Queen of Pentacles here. We have again King and Queen, we have the Knight. So it seems here that could be speaking here with a third party could be speaking here with a situation that somebody still figure out what to do no matter if it's third party if it's work related whatever it is somebody here might deal here with someone who is in a couple okay for others of you if you are an earth sign, I will say be careful because you, if you are not talking here at this time with someone, it's like you know your answers. If you're quite confused why somebody is not talking, it's because they are not going to leave their family and things like that. This is a very straightforward message for today. I don't know why it speaks that, but it feels like quite personal energy. For those of you who are praying to move on from some kind of situation or some kind of person or someone who told you, I'm just seeing you as a friend, doesn't necessarily here to be a third party. It could be, you know, you, you could love someone, but they cannot, you know, share the, the love or, you know, be with you because they have someone else or even though they end some kind of connection here with someone they still unable to be with you or something like that because someone here could end the connection or could end but could start there again okay let's see let's see for others of you, it's just um, a work situation here. Once you are connected as above as below, then things will start moving. But let's see what stronger energy we pick up. 
because I pick a couple, a couple energies here. Whatever here, someone is going through, it's karmically speaking here. I definitely see here a karmic energy. Two of swords, the emperor, yes. One more card, let's see, yeah. For some of you, definitely this is speaking about, you know, a third party. Somebody here might say, well, I do what I do for us. But actually, whatever they do, doing for them. And with the justice, emperor and justice here is just kind of what makes them stable or feeling stable. That's what they are going to do. And this is not speaking about you or the other person involved. Knight of Cups. So even though they are with someone or separated here, they still, let's see here, was the Four of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. As well, if you are involved here with someone who is taken or married or committed, they are aware that you eventually will walk away. But it's like you, you want to have a talk. Or they might tell you, I'm sorry, I cannot do that. And you know what to do. There's something here like this person could let you yourself make that decision. Yeah, absolutely. And you, you know. Let's see here. What's the Six of Pentacles here for? Eight of Swords. Yeah, this person might tell you, I can do what you ask me to. Or you might not see that this person might manipulate you. Lovers. They feel like, I, I have no choice. I have no choice. Or, I don't know, I can't choose. I care about you, I care about them. This is definitely manipulation with the lovers. And I'm sorry, but... This is my destiny kind of a thing. Somebody here feels like they are, yeah, look at this, another 10 here. It's too hard for me or it's too much for me or it's hard for me to do things. What's the Knight of Pentacles here speaking here for? Ace of Cups. For those of you who definitely you are gonna walk away from whoever is this person, you are moving on towards your Ace of Cups. Which this is new love. New person. One more card here next to the Ace of Cups. It's kind of somebody here. Feels like they are... Yes, you want clarity. But you have anyway clarity. It's like you... For some of you, you could get clarity through your dreams even temperance wow so whoever here is in a third party moving on you'll find your peace into a new connection or a new relationship which is very a very balanced energy here and quite surprising very different than what you even expect what love is Yeah, and you will understand why certain things here are supposed to go slow and now goes fast. So see here, if certain things here moved very slow, now a lot of things will move fast. And let me explain you this fast energy. Look at here. We have the King of Pentacles. We used to have here the, the Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, you are going to find... It's like you were dealing here with um, a karmic or somebody here definitely deals with a karmic and you are moving towards your, your partner, your life partner. And a lot of things here will definitely move pretty fast. Why? Why we're going to move pretty fast is because you want commitment. The other person will want the same commitment. You want family. The other person wants family. 
you want to be loved, the other person wants to be loved too. So it's kind of a reciprocal, reciprocity energy out there. So that's why things going and they are seems very easy and actually balanced pretty fast. For some of you, you might um, you might have someone who who you are going like a talk therapist, or you kind of know that this was a very very hard experience for you to deal with. The only knight missing here is Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands speaks about commitment issues. So if you think here you are having commitment issues or you are dealing only with people with commitment issues, that's not true. I feel here you just been attracted to those who are not commitment based on other side or those who are inviter parties or this person who you are dealing or who you were attracted or wanted to be with, they were not into third party. There's something here in that energy. Okay. I will clarify this Queen of Cups as well. What's the Queen of Cups in here for? Death. Seven of Pentacles. The Tower. And Four of Wands. So, and Three of Swords. So something here definitely is in between this couple. For a very small percentage, this person could be sworn or how you are you call like they they said till death tear apart or or their partner could die. Okay? For others of you, their partner gone through some challenges in life. Okay, and took them took them a, a long time to get, you know, in the energy of happy. But it's kind of they they've been dealing through a lot. King of Cups speak to me here. Moon. Seven of Swords. Four of Cups. Two of Wands. Okay, so for some of you, this person was not happy in their, their commitment. Okay. And you could talk with them just in the night time or meet them in the night time. But there was something here that whatever you offer, they were not okay because they were comparing everything who they were dealing with. And ultimately they made the decision or that was a decision there. So for many, many of you definitely here, this is a very straightforward message that some of you have been dealing here with a third party or someone who could try to be in a third party or ultimately didn't want to be in a third party, things like that. The Ten of Swords here, Eight of Wands. I feel here if you didn't talk with them, or you didn't have any conversation because we had this two of swords, they will talk again. After some time, they will talk again. Yes, they will talk again. They will get to you or they will speak to you. Okay. Yeah. This is something here that Spear says they will come again. But they will debate for quite a, a long time to come talk to you or say certain things or not. Okay. Yes. Because that's the, that's the universe. It's kind of the universe will not let them to be happy or fully happy unless they will come and say certain things. 
yeah absolutely with the devil hair and king of wands yes nine of cups somebody here could want just you know some some kind of distraction or certain things here and could backfire them what advice we have from spirit why this message coming here for whoever what advice we have from spirit as of today regards this whatever is going on high priestess king of pentacles the hierophant okay so why came here Spirit wants you to know that you've been connected with this person in a previous life. You had unfinished business. And that's why in this life is to find your own stability. The one you want, not the one who somebody can offer. Yeah, and work on that. There's definitely here a lesson to learn. It's kind of one thing is to want something. Another is to put in work towards that thing. Oh, wow. This is a, a past life lesson that somebody here needed to learn it in this life. And somebody here definitely learned it. Either it's you, either it's them. Yeah, and this is about love, and also it's about new beginnings, learning to work on new beginnings, not just thinking or wishing them, and not resisting to work on those energies. One thing, what I want to to look for is the knight of wands and the king of swords because we have king of pentacles king of wands king of cups we and also the the queen of wands so from the court cards it's knight of wands queen of wands missing and the king of swords let's see yeah here's the knight of wands and the Knight of Wands here next to the Five of Pentacles is no matter how bad you're going to feel, you need to move forward. No matter how hard it is and do you stand up for you. Okay, here is the King of Swords. Your plans, your future, your goals. If you have goals in life and you want to achieve them, keep going. Yeah, don't wait. You got to go grab them. Don't wait. Go ahead. Okay. Now we got to see where is that. And here's the Queen of Wands. We have the Page of Cups. And it's, it's something here. Forgive yourself. And don't look what others speak about it or try to speak you about. It's always a new beginning. And it's always... To learn, it's always to go forward for your goals. Wow. Yeah. So for, for many, many of you is no matter whatever it is, if somebody here, also for some of you, if you feel that you are an option here for someone, let them know out the options. Because it seems here, somebody here, my... Um, may realize later who they truly, you know, love. Okay. Yeah. For some of you, yes, that's quite a thing. But now there is in all this a very, very strong lesson to be learned. Now, let's see, individual zodiac signs, what we have for the day and what are those messages we need to hear. Oh, my. 
and put them back. Okay. Hope they are not reversals, but let's see. Aries, welcome loves. Let's see how is your day. Two of cups. It's kind of um something here to do. For some of you 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 have a project to work on. It's pretty new. And for some of you, this project might involve other people. I feel here for some of you it could be a legal project for others of you. This is something here that you definitely want to put in effort. For others of you, whatever here you, you have to do today or go towards do today, make sure is, is having a common sense or you don't do much. Whatever here you start or do today, don't try to do too much. A equal give and take is always better than anything else there. Taurus, I welcome you for the day. We have a star and we have a nine of swords. There's a Taurus here who, who is quite perfectionist. And I will tell you that either you have OCD and I don't say sometimes OCD people, which I am one of them probably because I love everything to, to get organized and be organized. And if the things are not organized, I feel I am messing. However, it's a part of who I am. It seems here that somebody here wants to do something here perfect. You know, I, I learned the hard way that... We have little moments that are perfect, but look the bigger picture. Don't overthink of something to get it perfect. Do it the way you feel is right, and the perfect will come a long way. I feel here many, many of you definitely know that. And also, for some of you, you've been guided through whatever is there. Don't overstress because certain things definitely are gonna go through. I see anxiety. Some of you kind of like relax. Don't worry. That's the day for you. Gemini's. What do we have for you, darlings? We have a Knight of Cups and the Seven of Wands. The Gemini I am speaking today, you, you have something here given to you, but you feel like I wish to be more or I wish to be bigger or better. Spirit says, you know, sometimes when I'll give an example of a little bulb, like a flower bulb, when you put it like the... Um, the tulips, the, the daffodils, you put it in the, the, the ground, in the dirt. And every year they will multiply. Spirit says, you got something. It's more than enough for you to expand. However, yes, for some of you, you want it bigger from the beginning, so you should not do more. But Spirit says, trust the process. Whatever here you are going to do today, because it seems here you want it in a certain way or something different right now. But Spear says you will get more in time than you could have gotten now. Cancerians. We have an eight of pentacles and two of wands. Every time when I have this Eight of Pentacles, it speaks of a busy day. But I feel here, for some of you, you do some extra work. For example, you, you have a trip coming out or you have certain plans coming up. You know, it could be in two weeks or in two months. So whatever here you do now, 
or today or the day that's coming. You want to cover up some time that you are not going to lose later. And I'll give you an example. You, you work on a project, you try to finish that project earlier, so you could go on a vacation, so not, not having any, you know, oh my goodness, I didn't finish that, when I come back, I got to do that. So you're not going to enjoy fully whatever plans you have ahead. So I see you doing some extra work, could be extra hours. You know, there's jobs here for, sometimes we do a few extra hours every day, so we have extra days left. So something here is just for you, for something better later on. For others of you, it's just like extra finances. But it seems here you do something more for something later to get for you. I hope whoever resonates will understand what I'm trying to say. And Leos, welcome darlings. We have a fool and we have a six of cups. Leo, who is this person? There's someone here, might come around you, but they come like nothing happened. Could be a water sign, could be a fire or air. But somebody here comes like nothing happened. If you didn't speak with this person for quite a long time, it's just like things like nothing happened, like they are kind of frozen in time. And this person is just kind of like, oh, forget about, or that was not a big deal. There's something here like not a big deal. For others of you, you might meet today with someone and catch up on certain things. Could be someone from your childhood or from the um, college um, um, time, things like that. But it's kind of a very, very easy, careless energy. It's not something here profound to to go through. So for some of you, it could be um, you meet someone or catch up with certain things, but don't go in detail. There's something here is not is not about details. It's about just something here, like very, very, you know, like the cherry on top or just the cream on top. It's not something here that we're going to go deep. Virgos, welcome loves. Let's see what we have for you. We have a high priestess, two of cups. There is a Virgo here. Either you feel... There is something coming up for you or someone coming up. Or you are start dating here with someone, but you don't want people to know about it. For some of you, you are in love with someone. Not everyone or not anyone knows. For some of you, there is something new right now, but you want to... It's like you prefer to keep it, you know, secret. If you have any plans, you prefer to keep it secret. For some of you, if you plan something today or you're going to do something, it's like you, you're you going to keep it for yourself. There is a reason here why you want to keep certain things for yourself. And you, you kind of like that reason I will disclose later. Okay? No, no matter whatever it is. For some of you, it's a person. For others of you, it's an idea. For others of you, there's something here that you you want to do, but it's kind of if it works, I will share with others. If not, I will keep it for myself. Libras. Look at you, the Empress. Underneath, we have a Three of Swords. Libra, there is something here about a strategy. Whatever you do or how you do, make sure works and fulfills you, not others. Because I see here for some of you, Libras, you might do something because somebody asks you or somebody here tries something and you might get hurt in the way. Whatever here you do or want to do, do it because you really believe that's good. Not necessary because of someone. Because at the end, the one who is going to get hurt, it's you, not them. Okay? Yes. So keep an eye why was the reason for whatever here you are going to do. 
So if somebody here tell you, I'll do this because you know, but you gotta help me. Or if you are a head of some company and you put a word on someone and that person fails you, it's your reputation or it's your, you know, word against the other things. So there's something here like keep an eye on. If you feel that it's, I don't know if this will work, better not to do it. You know, certain things here tells you that you better look what you have in your hands, not some kind of promise of something. Scorpios, it's so diverse energies that I'm picking up today. So let's see, Scorpios, what do we have for you? Eight of Pentacles and Justice. Okay, it's kind of like work-life balance here. For some of you, you could work on um, on making some kind of balance between your work and because you between your um, family or between personal life and work. There's something here like about I I need to focus more on our on my life balance or to balance my life or my day-to-day -day energy. So I feel here you put a lot of effort into, yeah, into your life balance because it seems here for some of you, you could dedicate yourself very much to your work and you feel here there are certain gaps that later on will get, will get bigger and you know, you will be harder to fulfill or to, to fill them up. For some of you Scorpios, that's your um, that's your goal basically. Sagittarius, let's see what do we got for you, darlings. Eight of Cups and Strength. For some of you, you Sagis might feel like now is the time to let something go, or. Let's see, because it seems here for some of you, you are living a situation that is not really good. I don't see it's really bad, but what I'm seeing is there's something here you leave behind doesn't fulfill you personally anymore, or you don't want to continue anymore. I see you in the process. I have also the strength here. It feels like you... As you walk away, you feel much better. For some of you, it could be, you know, a health issue. You're still recovering, but you are not yet fully recovered. Yes, somebody here is just kind of like, if you are leaving some, something, they say like, you know, I told you, I'm going to do that. But it's kind of whatever here... If somebody here wants you to leave something or do something and you actually doing, they feel like, oh, look at them. But this person doesn't know that actually they made you a favor because you're going towards your Ten of Pentacles. You see here, for example, if somebody here wants you to get fired from work or they play a role in your movement, okay? Actually, they made you a huge favor. Let's say, for example, if you left your job, right? And feel, felt very hard for a couple good months. But behind all this, leaving you this job or leaving the situation was someone in the shadow. They actually made you a, um, a favor for you to, to go forward and get something better. I give just a simple example for the job. For example, somebody wants you to quit your job. You're actually quitting and you're still searching for, for something. Or you just found something. This is something bigger, better. But yeah, somebody here tried to get on the way. They made it through. But actually they give you a, a good, you know hit in the back to get better. It's like actually they is not make you a favor, but they they 
they lead you to your full potential, to your true calling. And Spirit says, you, you truly will understand a little later what this is about. You might hate something right now, or you might be sad of something, and somebody here is like, oh, I told them to do that, or oh, I, I got my, um, my mission done. Actually, they will have a huge surprise a little later that they, they actually made you a huge favor to go somewhere or in, in some kind of place. You know, sometimes certain things are happening for a reason. And some of you might not understand. Spirit says, take it easy, don't resist. Whatever here you need to go towards or leave behind, it's to your own good loves. So Sanch, yeah, yes. I see here some Sagittarius needed to leave a situation behind. And there are many reasons. There could be I'm not feeling good about it or people are this and that or a specific person is this and that or my boss is this and that. No matter whatever it is, somebody here actually is making you a favor. Don't resist it. Just take it as is and it's kind of move forward. You will see that in a very short time. It's like even though when you look back, you'll feel like... God, I'm so blessed. And yes, you are. Capricorns, we have two of cups for you. And we have justice. What I am hearing for you, loves, for some of you, you might fall in love with someone that they could be married or they could be in some kind of situation. Or for some of you, you might meet someone who is freshly divorced. But they, they still have some residual of whatever they are dealing here. What the message here is, don't rush in anything. Give your time or take your time. Having the justice here with the Libra and Two of Cups, which is within two months. The Libra, full moon. Actually, we have a lunar south node eclipse in Libra we have on March 25th, which is this month. However, I will say from the full moon in Libra till the new moon in Libra, which is happening a little later in the year, which we do have this month, March 25th, we have a lunar south node eclipse in Libra. And we have a solar south node eclipse in Libra on October 2nd. So we have the number two. So give yourself time for whatever here you start now. Okay. For some of you, you start a new job. Give yourself a little time to make it through. Okay. For others of you, you, you might start a new job because you have a fairly new connection and there's something here that it's new but I want to I want to create some kind of balance or be in a in a good standing accordance we have a nine of swords and we have an ace of pentacles you have something new loves and it's kind of you you look for you have you are in your monkey mind energy what i mean through that is not like something to um, to worry you but it speaks of you have this new beginning don't overthink how will be if you will make it if you will go through if they will appreciate it just go with the flow that's the most important thing to do at this time don't overthink it just step through it step on it says the worries are for nothing you can make it if you are if you asking yourself if I can make it yes you have all the tools all the power because the magician that is like they do the magician has everything it takes to get it through so you have everything it takes to go through whatever is there okay 
So if you wanted something new or if you want to go, don't overthink it. Will I make it? I have enough experience. Will I learn it through it? Yes, you will. You will if you want it to because magician is kind of, it's on your power. It's on your will. Will you do it? It's up to you. Totally. And of course, Pisces. Let's see, darlings. Your energy as of today. Seven of Pentacles. And High Priestess. There's something here, a game of waiting. A game of time, not waiting. A game of time. It's kind of the time is either in your favor, either against you. Five of Pentacles. Strength, yes. Whatever situation you are in right now, give it time. You know it. You know to give it time. Okay. Because I feel here if you are going to get involved in something, it might not be great for you. So give it time here for whatever you are going through or whatever you are dealing with. Yeah, the Wheel of Time. The Wheel of Fortune is the Wheel of Time. And again, give it time. And that being said, all of you loves who are watching this video or the videos who are very, very into the energies that I am bringing, I wish all of you a beautiful, amazing day ahead. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.